Over the years on The Gadget Show, we've tested a huge array of video recording devices in almost every way possible. Making action movies. Riding roller coasters. This is appalling. Stop it! Stop it! Hooning round a circuit at over 100 miles an hour. Yay! Recreating civil war. And even making music videos in downtown Tokyo. But our love affair with the camcorder started way back in 2004, Series 1, Episode 1, when Susie made her own Matrix-inspired bullet time rig. Back then, most video was still recorded to tape, although the early shoots of digital recording were emerging, as my old colleague Tom Dunmore explained. I bought in this, the Sanyo Exacti. This costs about £500, and yet it only comes with a 128 megabyte card. That was good for just four minutes recording in DVD quality. Remember that. Fast forward to 05, and HD was upon us. But with no content, we had to create our own. But a little bit unwieldy. And I fell in love with this, the Sony HC1. At the time, the smallest and lightest HD camcorder in the world. Yours for just over a grand. It was rather exciting stuff. I think I'll do this again. Prices soon came down, though. And by 2006, camcorders were flying again, off the shelves. Did you know that over a million camcorders were sold in Britain last year? That's really one every 30 seconds. And with growth came innovation. By 2007, Jason and Susie tested a new type of ultra-portable video camera. <laughs> Back then, action camera video quality was rather ropey. So clearly, more testing was required. By 2008, we'd moved home. Check out the new studio. Look, the gaming area. We've got the curvy metal area with the lighting. And kicked off the series building a flying video recorder, years before drones were even a thing. Action! <laughs> <laughs> and by the following year, there was some more big news. The Gadget Show has got a new presenter, Mr Otis Dealey. Hey! No, not that. Recording video on your phone was becoming mainstream, albeit still in standard definition. But that didn't mean camcorders were giving up the fight. They were getting cheaper. Great for home videos. Oh, no! <laughs> and higher spec too, seeing the introduction of slow-motion recording. And there were new video formats. 360-degree video had landed. So, by 2013, it was no surprise the countdown on the camcorder's demise had arrived, as Rachel Riley revealed. I am going to use one of these camcorders, but only to show you that we've been shooting throughout this feature, including this link, on two 5Ds. But it wasn't just DSLRs that were stealing the show. HD video recording on your phone had also arrived but the image stabilisation could have been better. In the following years, we welcomed in a couple of new faces. Welcome to the brand new, totally rebooted, bigger and better gadget show. And Georgie showed us a new way to record video, direct from your dash. It films in 720p HD and it has a 120 degree wide angle lens. And there was no shortage of innovation elsewhere. We have two HD cameras mm. on the front. Today, there are still no signs of video recording tech slowing down. Samsung introduced 8K video recording with the S20 Ultra. Stabilization has gone to another level. And action cameras are cheaper than ever. Not to mention drones, which have really taken off 